uh, in this video we'll look at Blinding Lights by the performer who, according to the spelling of his name, is either The Weekend or The Week Nud, or even The Weekend. However much you like this performer and however much you like the song, I suggest you don't go to him for spelling lessons. So in the video, uh, we'll look at three parts of the song. Uh, we're going to look at the, the riff, the bridge and the chorus. These are the, the catchier parts. The only other part really is the verse and there might be one other part which only gets briefly played. So we're looking at these parts because they are the more tuneful, the memorable, catchy parts. So to be clear about which part is which, uh, this is the riff. the riff. The bridge is the bit that goes sin, uh, sin, since it is cold and empty. That's the bridge that starts like that. And the chorus is the part that goes Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Now most of my most of my students should by now should be uh, familiar with terms like riff and bridge and chorus. But just to be absolutely clear about this uh, I've written it out and listening to the song and writing the song out, I have been referring to the YouTube video, which is called The Week Nud or The Weekend or The Weekend, uh, Blinding Lights in brackets, official audio. It's all, it's all marked up here. And I've also given the timings for when these various parts, the riff, the bridge and the chorus occur in the video. So it's not the um, it's not the video that starts with him covered in blood. That one, it's the same song, but that will have different timings to it. OK. Now, to make this more user friendly and playable, um, especially to my younger students, um, I've changed the key of it. And what that means is, if you don't understand what change of key means, yeah, it just means that I've, instead of doing this for the riff, for example, instead of going, we're going to play it down here, which will be easier for you to play. Okay, so. It's in a different key. If you want to play it in the original key, I could quite easily show you how to play it in the original key and send you the music and I'd be quite happy to do that. But I suspect it's going to be easier to play it down here for most of my students. And the other point to make is um, you could actually play it. If you had a capo and you put your capo on the third fret, you could play it in the original key. Maybe this is more information than we need at the moment. So let's just push on and start playing it. So the riff in this key is going to go like this. I'll try that again. Now, as always, you want to break these things down into phrases. So you could break it down into something like this and I'll play it a bit slower as well. So the first part, the first phrase in the riff would be. That actually gets repeated now. Da, 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 da. Don't forget to stop, pause the video and play along. So I'll just play that once. I'll play the last part of the riff. So altogether, the riff sounds like this at a slow speed. There's the riff. The bridge, since it is cold and empty. Again, uh, I've 
Don't forget, and no one's around to judge me. Gone, gone, gone. I said. Are we all clear about this so far? Since it is cold and empty, no one's around to judge me. I can't see clearly when you're gone, gone, gone. I said, and then it goes into the chorus. Um, so again, I'll play the chorus at that sort of relaxed speed there. So it's difficult for me to read the tune, the lyrics and the and the tune at the same time, which is why I'm going da da di da di da. Now that is the song covered already. I think what I'll do now is that I'll just play at the speed it goes at the bridge, the chorus and the riff. So the first time we hear the bridge is 51 seconds into the video, and that is immediately followed by the chorus, which is immediately followed by the riff. So let's try this then. Uh, I'll count one, two, three, four, one. The, the bridge comes in on the second beat of the bar, so it should sound. Let's try this. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. sound something like that break it down into phrases use the stop pause rewind on the video uh, and then finally if you are a chord player um, I've written out the chords on the sheet as well we've got D minor we've got A minor we've got C and G and that pattern, we get two bars of each, that pattern repeats itself throughout the whole song, whether it's the riff, the bridge, the verse or the chorus, it's the same two bars of each going round and round and round. Um, it would be if you were to do the bridge, for example, with those chords. Since it is cold and empty, some, something, 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 some, something, 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 gone, gone, gone. I think we'll stop there then. Um, if you've got any questions about this or if you'd like a copy of the music, just email me or get mum and dad to email me and have fun. <laughs>